Hey, this is Will Welker. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I mix my hydroponic nutrients. So the three components we have here are the Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, and the calcium nitrate, which is your source of nitrogen and also calcium, and then all the other minerals, which is gonna be in some other type of blend that includes all the micronutrients um, and things like that. And so I use this master blend, and this is specifically formulated for tomato and vegetable, but I use it for everything. If you're gonna do a huge crop of just one thing, like just tomatoes or just lettuce, you might wanna adjust a blend specifically for them. But since I just use the same thing for everything, this is what I use. And so the ratio that we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna blend it in one gallon and it's going to be two grams of this, two grams of this, and one gram of this. And that scales to however many gallons you use. So uh, quite often I'll, I'll blend up about 40 gallons at a time in a 55 gallon drum. But since we're just gonna do one gallon, this is, I use this for a long time. Before I got a big drum and, and mixed it, I just did it one gallon at a time and it worked just fine. So it helps to have a small kitchen scale like this to do your measuring in. And then after you've measured it a few times, you can sort of skip this if you want. And I'm gonna get some hot water running because it helps this dissolve if you put it in hot water. Okay, there's two grams of calcium nitrate. Now for some complicated reasons, it's better to dissolve this in the water separately than these. If they mix together in a concentrated form, it forms some chemical bonds that are not ideal for plants. Um, you can research that further if you want, but all you really need to know is, is mix them separately. So I'm gonna start off with my two grams of calcium nitrate and I'll just put that in my jug and then I'm going to add some hot water to this to start that dissolving while I measure the other constituents. So there's some warm water to get that dissolving. And I'll put that back on the scale, zero it out. And I have some actually previously opened packages here. This, it has a different color, but this is actually this, the same stuff that this bag is. So we're getting two grams of this for a gallon. If you're a little bit off, it's not gonna matter much. And then we will get one gram of the Epsom salts, the magnesium sulfate. And this is the same thing you could buy at the store, an Epsom salt at the store. Just make sure you get unscented because if it has scents added, then who knows what chemicals they use to scent the product. So there's gonna be one gram of this. And that's all you need for a gallon. So now that we have all of our minerals added, I'll go ahead and fill it up with warmer hot water.
if you use cold water, sometimes you'll get little granules of minerals left at the bottom that don't dissolve. It's possible to force them dissolve if you stir it enough, but if you don't if you don't stir it, sometimes they'll just stay there. So now you have a gallon of pre-mixed hydroponic nutrient that you can just use as needed. So this is a TDS meter. It's kind of optional, but what it allows you to do is read the mineral content of your water. And so I'm showing 672 parts per million. So that gives you an idea what uh, a good blend is like, you know, 500 to 700 ppm. And that can be useful if you are uh, adding uh, fertilizer nutrients to existing water. So let's say if I checked this water and it was about half of this, then I, I would know that I need to add maybe, you know, half of the normal nutrients. And this can also be useful when you get to the point where you're blending your own nutrients because eventually we need to make our own out of compost tea or manure tea or aquaponics. And if you want to study that further, look up some videos on aquaponics where they're feeding plants from fish waste because the same concepts you learn in that will also apply to feeding your plants from any kind of waste, whether it's compost, manure, or anything.